You mentioned the mitochondrial um, component and you know, the, the blood getting the oxygen being delivered to the muscle and you know mitochondria are using that oxygen to produce energy. So um, maybe we can talk a little bit about some of the skeletal muscle adaptations from high intensity interval training, maybe compare and contrast when we can to continuous exercise. But um, mitochondria are very, I mean, the, it, it's probably one of the most important organelles inside all of, most of our cells, um, particularly in mus skeletal muscle cells. And um, I recall quite a few studies from your lab and others showing that high intensity interval training was a very potent stimulus for mitochondrial biogenesis or the generation of new mitochondria. So um, can you talk a little bit about, I mean, how HIT affects mitochondrial biogenesis, maybe the, the difference between more continuous exercise, why that's important, mitochondrial biogenesis? You're absolutely right. You know, and I think um, even if people took high school biology, you tend to think of mitochondria, these sort of bean-shaped things in, in, your, in your body. But we now know mitochondria are, are this amazing reticular network. So it's a bit like if you can imagine all of your capillaries that go through your, your, your um, skeletal muscle fibers. The best evidence now would suggest that mitochondria sort of work the same way. It's this network of organelle uh, that, that goes through muscle and, and, and they can change, right? The, the size of the organelle, but you can have increases or decreases in, in mitochondrial capacity surprisingly quickly. So you can increase mitochondrial content very, very rapidly, certainly within a few days or, or weeks of training. And it seems to go the other direction pretty quick as well. So when you detrain, you can lose mitochondrial capacity quite quickly as, as, as well. Uh, you know, so what does exercise do? Any type of exercise, if you can imagine exercise is a stress. And so all of these stress compounds or indices of stress change inside your muscles. So you immediately have this large increase in demand for ATP, calcium levels go up, reactive oxygen species, uh, lactate, hydrogen ions change. And many of those, uh, you can think of those as fuel gauges. So they're sort of, or fuel monitors, right? They're saying, oh my goodness, we have an energy crisis. Our ATP is going down. This is gonna signal that we need more energy. And so many of those compounds, those acute changes have been linked to cellular molecular signaling pathways that are associated with the growth of new mitochondria. And so this is the idea of mitochondrial biogenesis, genesis or growth of new mitochondria.